mic test. All right, it's working. Okay. In this tutorial, you guys, I'm going to show you how to make an animated texture for Source Engine. Um, not sure exactly how it applies to other games other than Insurgency or Insurgency 2, as some of you will refer it as. So I'm going to just do a quick little tutorial here. Here I have a case-hardened um, custom build Beretta based off the Raccoon Police Department Stars Edition from Resident Evil. So I'm just all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Stars logo here in the grip, the or not the Stars logo, the uh, Raccoon Police Department grip, and make it rotate. Um, I have already separated the text and the star and the uh, stars enter so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that delete these real quick that way when I do it it'll be easy peasy so first thing you do is let's see should I do the text or the stars I'll do the text it's a little easier to see so I'm gonna make a copy of that layer hide that layer um, first thing I'm gonna do is this is going to be my first frame without anything modified. So, Control Shift S, I'm going to save it as, and I'm going to go into. I created a new folder inside um, Materials, Models, Weapons, M9. Um, for those of you who don't use the same directory structure I do, I use the directory structure like you were using if you were installing subscribed content from the workshop. That's how I do it, and then from there I package it into a VPK for publishing. So I am in the Insurgency Custom Root Materials Models Weapons M9 folder. Um, just for now, I created a folder called Animation Test. This is where we're going to put the frames. Um, so name it one. This is going to be your first frame. Save it as a TGA. Make sure you have alpha channels clicked. Um, if you're using alpha layers, um, if you're using glowing sites, this is going to be necessary because your alpha channel tells the game what to glow and what not to glow. So, well, as I don't know why I told you that because if you know how to do glowing sites, you already know that. So I'm going to save this as one and with alpha channels checked and do 32-bit pixel. If you do 24, you're not going to get your alpha channel. I made that mistake the first time I did this. I couldn't figure out why my sites weren't going. It's because I didn't do 32-bit pixel. Um, leave compress RLE unchecked. So do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin my text. Um, let's see. Oh, why is it doing that? I'm just going to hold shift and do 90-degree rotations for testing purposes. Now I'm going to save it again as another TGA. This time it'll be two. Alpha channels, 32 bit. Do it again. 90 more degrees. TGA, frame three. One more time. Four. Ta-da! Now you have your TGAs. Now, fire up VTF edit. Now, this is where I'm going to be loading it from, so I'm just going to copy the address here so that it makes it a little bit easier to import. So I'm just going to go straight to File Import. It's already there. Um, select all your frames. Open. <coughs> um, oh, one thing to note. When you import, sort by name. And when you select them, make sure here in your file name, one, two, three, four. If you get that wrong, it's going to import it in that order. So make sure you have the imp the order correct in the file names. Um, I'm going to leave it DXT1, DXT5. Um, I'm not going to resize it. Um, as far as advanced goes, I set my version to 7.4. I haven't tried it on a different version, so I do not know. Um, I'm going to leave DXT quality on high. Um, I uncheck compute reflectivity and generate thumbnail. I honestly don't know if it makes a difference, but I did. Um, this will take a minute because I these are 2048 by 2048 textures, depending um, on which weapon. Oh, I'm sorry. These are only 1024. Um, full rifles will be 2048 by 2048, so they might take considerably longer. VTF edit definitely is not the fastest thing in the world. Um, 
If you do have your, an alpha channel, the 8-bit alpha box will be checked automatically. That means your alpha channel is or should be working. Um, to test this, oh, if you scroll down, you'll see my logo there. Um, you can swap through the different frames, and you can hit play, and you can see it go real fast. So then you just go to save it, and weapon M9D, which is the, oh, what is it? Diffuse, diffuse map. So yeah, replace the diffuse. Yes. It was that simple. Um, we'll actually go test it here. Actually, we can't test it yet because we have to go edit the VTF. VMT, I'm sorry. Okay. Back in the working directory, we have the diffuse.vm VTF, which we just created. Um, you need to open up the VMT and add these lines, these proxy animated texture lines. <coughs> I will put this in the description. Um, basically, without this text in your VMT, the game isn't going to see it as an animated texture. Through here, you can actually control the frame rate as well. And this should be frames per second. So 30, since I only did four animated frames, 30 will make it spin extremely fast. Um, if I were to do three frames per second, that'll it'll be a lot more obvious. Well, not obvious, but the stages of my animation will be more obvious rather than smooth. But once you edit that VMT file, thing I forgot to add, um, these animated textures do not show up in the SDK model viewer. So even though you have an animated model, or the model is in an animation, you're still not going to see your finished product actually have an animated texture in this. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out how to do this. So if you're trying this tutorial and you're testing it in the model viewer, don't expect it to work. Just hop in game and go to that weapon selection menu, and that's going to be the dead giveaway that it's working. Now we can actually go test it. that victory is ours um probably not gonna be able to see it terribly well eh, i couldn't see it at all but uh definitely works so i hope this helps somebody if you have any questions i will try to answer them um most likely on the YouTube page where I'm going to upload this. So post in there, I do get notifications. If I do see them and I do know how to help you, I will respond. If I don't know how to help you, there's a good chance I won't respond. Um, I'm just going to hope that somebody else will respond.